Uh, this video will demonstrate creating a task on the uh, scheduling editor inside of a project. So I'm inside of the project editor and I'm going to open the scheduling editor. It will open in its own window and uh, there's nothing in the uh, schedule yet. Uh, now there are two entities that you can add here, um, work orders or tasks. Work orders are just containers for tasks and uh, those are covered in another video. Uh, for this example, we're going to create a new task at bottom. Uh, the task at selected um, feature will be available to you once you have something here in the grid and all depends on where you select. So uh, it's created a task. You can um, hit the edit button to open this to edit it or just double click along the little gray box there. And it opens the general tab. Go ahead and name this for uh, what you want the task to be named. And uh, it automatically starts with today's date and uh, two hours um, duration essentially here. Uh, what I'm going to do here is you can add notes, uh, install back boxes, ooh, and wire. So uh, give a note if you'd like to print on the actual report um, when you generate that up here. Um, next step would be to add resources or installers uh, to this task. So I'm going to hit the assign button here and I'm going to pick two of my installers here. Choose assign. And uh, each of them are assigned one hour by default. You can come back and edit this later. Uh, go to the items um, tab here, or the miscellaneous items if you're going to add those. Uh, but the items tab here are the primary um, products, labor items, and packages that are in the um, project. So I'm going to click uh, Add Products here, and that will open the Add Products form. Um, it's looking directly in the project file. And I'm just going to run a few quick filters here. Uh, we'll go ahead and filter by location. And then I'm going to come down here to phase and just filter to just the rough in uh, gear that's in that uh, particular location. Here I have my back boxes and wire, so I'm going to select all, hit add and close. And now these have been added to the um, task. Uh, the next thing you'd probably want to do here is check the analysis. Now that we've added um, products here, and if you could have added labor items, of course, as well, um, their labor is going to tally here on the analysis tab under project installation hours. And this is showing the labor that I've assigned to um, those products. This is my estimated resource hours. If you recall, each resource gets assigned one hour. So I know I need to go back and modify that. So uh, it says 6.3, but I'm going to round down. Hopefully they'll get the job done quicker and assign them you know, three hours a piece on this. So now that they've been assigned six hours, you can, of course, uh, come back here to the general tab. And this is only scheduled for two hours so far. I'm sending them each out for three. You can bump that up if you'd like. And then you can save and close the task, uh, or you could run reports. Uh, for instance, let's just take a look at the task detail report for this. And that will open up the task that you can, um, you know, print or PDF, if you'd like, or export to any of these formats here. Um, and scroll down, you can see that it lists the parts, it lists the estimated hours, grand total here, place for notes. And, um, not only can you uh, print or export these reports, you can also use the send to feature to automatically attach them as PDFs to, uh, via Outlook, um, email, appointment, or a task. Uh, 